I think if you tell the story of your vagina, you tell the story of your life in some fundamental way. Most of my childhood was determined and structured and created by violence. My father was very, very um, um, angry, raging person. My father's violence and his um, sexual abuse really eroded my esteem in a very profound way and made me feel stupid and made me feel worthless and made me feel that I didn't have a right to be here. But it also made me, I see now, incredibly um, tuned in to other people's suffering. I had no intention of writing a play about vaginas, to be perfectly honest with you. I was already a way, way downtown playwright, and that would have assured my status there forever. But I was talking to a woman, and she was talking about menopause, and she got onto the subject of her vagina, and just was saying that it was dried up and finished and dead and horrible. And I was like, wow, I can't believe she feels that way about her vagina. And so I just said, well, what do women think about their vagina? I have no idea. So I would just say to a friend casually, well, do you like your vagina? And you know, first woman said to me, my mother used to tell me, don't wear panties underneath your pajamas, you need to air out your pussycat. And I thought, oh my God, <laughs> maybe I should do something with this piece. Women love to talk about their vaginas. They do. Mainly because no one's ever asked them before. From the minute I started performing it, it was just one of those amazing things. People just responded. The play really started to take off in all different forms. It was shocking to me. I have to tell you, it's still shocking to me. Respect this vagina. I started to realize that the play could be a tool for breaking taboos, for getting dialogue going. We then created this idea of V-Day, Vagina Day, Victory Day, Valentine's Day. We were thinking we'd do one performance in New York City to raise money for local groups working to stop domestic violence. That event ended up to be the most extraordinary evening where 2,500 people came and all these fabulous actors from Glenn Close to Susan Sarandon to Lily Tomlin to Rosie Perez. My vagina is angry. It is. It's pissed off. My vagina is furious and it needs to talk. The kind of violence and the kind of degradation that goes on to women and the kind of potential for pleasure and for power and for um, enjoyment that exists in the vagina, both. It just struck a chord for whatever reason, and it continues to, 14 years later. 